up, fragrance family? Uh, thank you guys so much for joining me, Rise Frags 34, for another review. Uh, this one's pretty cool. It's from uh, it's a Chicago exclusive. So, hello to my uh, few family members out in Illinois. They are in the Gurney Waukegan area. If you guys are familiar with Illinois uh, near Chicago, I used to go to the Chicago Mackey Awards, which was pretty awesome. It was downtown Chicago at the Hyatt, and of course, I met my all-time favorite player in the NFL, uh, Mr. Walter Payton, Sweetness and hence the 34, uh, that was my number all the way through high school, playing football and stuff, so he's uh, one of my you know idols and legends, So and he was just so great and such an honorable man, so. But again, not to carry on with all that, but just a quick uh, little, because of course this exclusive Le Labo is from Chicago, I thought I'd throw that in there, but thank you guys so much again for joining me for this review. Uh, this one actually came out to us in 2011. Again, this is a Chicago exclusive, so I believe two times out of the year you can actually purchase these. They're not, all the time available, uh, like the regular line is. Uh, the prices are, are a little pricey. I think it's a little over $300 for a 50 ml, which I have, and then I think it's right around $440. I'm not sure if they've increased their prices. I haven't been on their site in a while, but they were $440 for 100 ml. And then, of course, you can get samples as, as well. But guys, this is one of the most authentic roses I've ever smelled. And uh, if you guys do not like rose, you know, go ahead and you don't have to watch this video. Um, it is it is pretty much all about rose, but man, it's such a fresh, clean rose, and I'll, I'll get onto, uh, onto that, but just excited to do this review. So uh, the perfume uh, nose behind this uh, perfume is, I believe, Frank Vocal, Vocal. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. Your notes behind this one, uh, our uh, top is, well, actually, I think the, they didn't even list top, I think they just listed notes. So you have musk, uh, Virginia cedar, amber, clove, Pink pepper, rose, pepper, and aldehydes. So, uh, guys, the first initial spray with this one is just absolutely, I mean, the pink pepper in this. I think that is bay rose anyway, bay rose, pink pepper, same thing. Uh, it's just so, it's so like addicting to your nose. It, it's not like a, a strong pepper that's kind of going to make you sneeze, but it is very, it's just like kind of sharp. It has, it, it's, it's kind of like a, it's just it's just amazing guys I, I can't get over how, how awesome it smells so you have that nice pink pepper pl uh, blast in the beginning and that pretty much stays throughout there is a lot of pepper in this which is really nice and then you just get this rose and I'm talking if you it's such like a it's it's a very strong rose but you almost get like the green um, stems from it as well uh, and again I'm, I'm kind of just going off of this but you know when you like fresh freshly cut roses you kind of get that wet uh, you know, stem from the roses, you get all that in one, and just, it's so strong and, and, and pungent and great. That's exactly what you get from this, guys. It's it's absolutely amazing. Uh, Freddie Frags, I think he did a, uh, Freddie Rivera, uh, he did a, a video on this too, uh, a while back, a few years ago, maybe, or a couple years ago, and I, and I remember him saying, he, he described it so well, it's like you're you're opening your windows in your house, you get this beautiful spring breeze that comes through, you have a little bit of potpourri, uh, you know, in a little bowl way off into like a, in the distance, you got fresh cut roses right in front of you and, and the house is just very nice and clean. And, and that's what you get. Um, there's really not, I don't really get aldehydes too much from this one. Um, I, I'm sure there's aldehydes in it because it is kind of clean, but I don't get that too much. I just get more of like that peppery, real fresh uh, rose. You know, this is just, and I love the darker roses, don't get me wrong, um, you know, like the rose ouds and things like that. But this one is just like, it's almost kind of like the declaration, um, the Cartier, that where it just has that real nice clean rose, but it, but it's very rosy. Uh, and I just, I just love this fragrance, guys. It's, it's, um, it does come off, like I said, if you not, if, if you don't like a strong rose scent and you think it's too feminine, this will be a little too feminine rose for you. But man, I think it's just blended perfectly, guys. And you really have to kind of wait for that dry down because um, I know it's not listed, but I do get, you kind of get almost like that synthetic ambroxan note in this, which again, you have to use some synthetics in these fragrances to hold them to make them well-rounded and, and to give them longevity, to give them you know a lot of, a lot, a lot of great things in there. So don't think bad of, uh, of a synthetic, a couple notes here and there, because I know they're probably used in all perfumes, you know, but, um, but if you want an authentic rose, clean and, and oh man, it even comes off a little, like I said, almost a little green and, and woody towards the end there. Maybe it's like the amber or whatever it is, but man, fresh cut roses in a vase. I mean, it's just absolutely beautiful and it's wearable, guys. I mean, this would be more like up class scent, like a wedding scent, uh, out to dinner scent, you know, things like that. But I wear it to work and I, I just, I really like it. Again, if you are more of the, I don't want anything to do with 
feminine or, you know, and I, I, I kind of do think this maybe leans, it's more of like a 55%, you know, female, 60, you know, um, geez, I'm getting my numbers off here, 45%. Male, 55%, you know, female probably. I would, it's not, it, it's unisex definitely, and I love this, but I think it's more, a, a little bit more hinting towards towards the woman's side, you know. But guys, I just, I think this works great. Uh, like I said, just a very clean rose. It's It's got some musk in there a little bit, kind of like the Lalabos, they all have that, that kind of that DNA that really comes off great. But guys, a presentation on this one, I just really love this one. Uh, of course, if they personalize it, this is when my name was back in the Creed Frags days, Creed Frags 34, but there it is. So they personalize it real nice, and then of course they, you know, um, I did have a video of another uh, Lalabo fragrance. can't remember which one I did, but I showed you how they actually make it and everything. They, they do the bottle as you, uh, you know, when you order it, they actually make the bottle right there that day that you order it. They don't just have them on the shelves or anything, so it's very fresh and everything, but uh, they give you, of course, the... The little pamphlet there with with your with your writing and stuff, and then it, of course it sits right in that nice soft uh, tissue right there. So, but again, very personalized, and they do kind of it does kind of have that um, you know like lab laboratory kind of thing going on. So you got that, and then your bottles, of course, are really nice. They have the you know they're all personalized, which is really great, um, and just like kind of that laboratory thing going on. And then your spray, pretty nice spray. So nice. I go three sprays with this one. It's probably a little too much. You'd probably be off, be okay with two. It is, uh, longevity is excellent. I'm getting, you know, 10 plus hours with this one, almost 12 to, you can still smell it. Pro projects and performs for a good six to eight hours really, really well. And um, so you kind of want to go light, but, but yeah, there it is. Uh, just fresh, fresh roses, authentic rose. So beautiful, guys. This is just a, such a classy, Wow, just awesome, awesome fragrance. But again, if you don't like rose, stay away from it. But this one's beautiful, guys. Hopefully, I didn't drag it out too long. I just I get excited about great fragrances. Uh, some exciting news. I did finally get a Destrier, guys, uh, from the House of Matriarch. So that'll be coming soon. Hopefully, you guys have received your samples or are going to receive your samples. It is probably, I, I'm, it's exactly what I wanted her to do. I don't want to talk too much about it because that's, that's another video. But I'm very excited that I did get that today, and um, I actually have it on this hand right here, and it's amazing. So, uh, but again, Rise for X34, thank you so much for, for everything, uh, and we will talk to you soon, guys. Thanks.